Hello everyone at Pixel Enemy and my own channel. Um, I am Matt. For those who don't know, I have a YouTube channel called Ghostfire Studios. You can check me out. The link will be in the description. But this video is not an about me video. Um, in this video, I will be going through all of the back to car end information we have so far, um, including the new release date, the screenshots, the vehicles and weapons information, and some other information I've seen on Twitter and BF3 blog. So first of all, the other day some screenshots came out which will be going on the screen now. I will keep them kind of small in the corner and I'm going to render this video out in 1080p so it probably be best to watch it in full screen so you can see the actual images in the top right of the uh, the top right of the screen. That's right, yeah. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to cover the whole screen with the images because I'm going to have some images of the uh, game and also um, the weapons so it will be covering the gameplay for quite a lot of this video so that will be in the top right corner of the screen um, as the screenshots came out there was also a little bit of information and EA have announced that the Back to Carcand expansion pack for Battlefield 3 will come out on December 2011 they didn't say an exact release date they just said December whereas so we could be seeing it on the 1st of December or most likely at the end of December like when they announced Vietnam and that came out on the 27th I hope it's earlier than later because I really do want to get my hands on Back to Car Candy. It does look a very good expansion. For those of you who got the Battlefield 3 Limited Edition, Back to Car Candy will be free when it comes out in December. And for those of you who just got the normal game or are going to pick it up after release and get the normal edition, they will be getting the game. They will be paying for Back to Car Candy. And the price has yet to be confirmed. Um, in Back to Car Candy, as the name suggests, you will be getting four classic Battlefield maps including Strike at Karkand, Gulf of Oman, Shakira Peninsula and Wake Island. All are Battlefield 2 maps. Um, they will all be playable in Rush and Conquest according to some information I've seen. I'm not sure about all game modes but I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sure and kind of assuming that they will be playable in all game modes due to DICE's new philosophy. Um, all the maps have been remade I think and redesigned in Frostbite 2 to include the brilliant visuals, light and destruction and a new way for those people who have played Battlefield 2 to experience these maps in Battlefield 3. Um, they get the yeah, sorry about that. The expansion will come with three new vehicles, the, DPs, the DPV. This is a Desert Patrol vehicle, formerly called the Fast Attack Vehicle. It's a light attack vehicle with speeds of 60 miles an hour and will be similar to those of the Humvee. And a, it's kind of like a vehicle which is already in the game, but it will probably have a few seats and a turret space for those people who just want to get there fast. The next vehicle is the BATR-90. This is an 8x8 wheel armoured personnel carrier developed in Russia. The main cannon is a 30mm cannon and has a secondary 7.62mm PKT machine gun and it's also fully amphibious. So this is kind of like the light um, tanks in the game. There will be a few seats, one with the actual main cannon which will be kind of like the LAVs and then a 7.66mm one which will be you know, just a chain gun kind of thing. It will also be amphibious, so you can take take it through water. I'm not sure if there is any water on the map, and I'm not sure if these vehicles will be in the main game's maps. The last vehicle which will be introduced is the F-35B STOVL jet fighter. Um, this is a jet which is currently in development. It's a single-seater fighting jet, and was first flown in 2006. It's used to perform ground attack, reconnaissance, and air defense missions with stealth capabilities. So, this is a brand new jet that they'll be adding. I'm again not sure if it will be in the full game or will only be playable on back to car cam maps. As I couldn't find any screenshots of the vehicles in game, I could only find like screenshots of them on Wikipedia and Google. Um, I'm not going to put any screenshots of the vehicles in this video. Um, this is leading me on to the 10 new weapons which will be used in back to car cam and will also be able to be used on the normal game in the 10, 9 maps already on the disc. These weapons are the MP5 SMG, the PP19, the L96A1 Sniper, the L85 Assault Rifle, the FAMAS Assault Rifle, the Type 88 Sniper, the Jackhammer Shotgun, the MG36 Light Machine Gun, the Type 95 and the Type 97. Those are pictures of the weapons in game. As you can see, they're just pictures as you see on Battle Log, so you don't really get much from them. We don't really know what. I will. I don't know what every class is for all the weapons, I just took a guess at those. 
so they might be in different classes when they actually release. Um, also quoted from Planet Battlefield and other sources, EA have said that it will feature a new persistent system where players will complete assignments to earn their rewards. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means, uh, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Um, that is the bulk of information that I have found out on Back to Carcand, other than it will feature five new dog tags for collection in-game, and also five new achievements and trophies. And also, as of yesterday night, when I was like just putting this video together in Sony Vegas, um, EA have EA and Slash Dice, I believe, have announced a kind of download content plan for Battlefield 3. They said that over the next six months, they're going to have an aggressive downloadable content plan. EA's Frank Gibbo, I think that's how you say his name, said that, and he said so far, back to Carcan DLC is only the one that's been announced and it will be free to buy for the limited edition, but Battlefield 3 fans have much more to look forward to. Um, he said, over the, our plans over the next six months is to have a very robust set of expansion packs, uh, you know, passed on, Striker Carkland, that we think our community is going to be very, very excited about. Um, there were no details of what the next DLC is, what we can anticipate, but in my personal, like, opinion, I am hoping for kind of similar things to Back to Carkand. Um, a nice set of maps, four or five will do, um, a set of weapons that can be used in the full game as well as the expansion, and maybe a few new vehicles for using those maps. Um, it would be cool, but I'm kind of hoping they don't do like a Vietnam kind of thing, uh, you know, that just draws away from the main game, because I thought it's kind of segregated the Battlefield Bad Company 2 community into two separate games. I hope they keep the expansions in the modern day setting and it's kind of like a map pack but it will bring new weapons for use around the board and new vehicles but I'm not quite sure how they're going to do the new weapons because if you do have to pay for this DLC um, they can't really put any different statistic weapons in the game well I believe they couldn't anyway like they couldn't introduce the FAMAS and put it as the highest damage weapon in the game because to some people they probably see that as a bit of an unfair advantage or as, you know, some people were buying their advantage with the expansion pack because some people might not, well, some stupid people might not buy the expansions for Battlefield 3 so they won't have the weapons at their disposal so I think they're just going to be kind of retextured and, you know, different versions of the weapons we have now kind of like, say, you know, the Scar, Scar L retextured to a FAMAS with a bit of a faster fire rate but lower damage that kind of thing I think would be fair. I don't think they should do like an exact reskin of another weapon and all the stats are the same. Just try and make sure it's balanced. Um, I'm looking forward to see what new maps they bring out. Um, I was pretty happy with the maps that were shipped with the disc. Some of the maps I don't like on certain game modes. Operation Metro Conquest 64 players is absolutely appalling. I mean it's funny but it's not something I enjoy playing. Um, all the other maps for Conquest are alright. Um, some of them I play smaller versions, like CN Crossing. I like to play the th four flag version of that rather than the five flag. Although I have had some fun on the five flag version. It depends what kind of people you're playing online with, I guess. Um, I have been joining some of the servers that have been distributed. I've been joining the Don't Revive Me Bro server, uh, the Pixel Enemy server, I think that's the same one. Um, I've been spending quite a lot of time on Total Biscuits Awesome server and his new Rush server with him and uh, some of the people in his community. I've been playing on the Yogscast, Yogsfield server. Um, those have been quite enjoyable experiences. It's better than kind of joining the random servers that you get because I've had to quit out of so many games because I've joined and our team were just all, you know, they weren't capable of doing anything. They were just lying down. They just gave up on capturing flags and it was just me and a couple of friends running around the map back and forth trying to capture all the flags by ourselves. So the game so far, it's had its good moments, it's had frustrating moments, um, but I'm still loving it. Um, it's probably a crime to do this, but I'm going to mention Call of Duty on this video. Um, I'm still undecided on whether to get that game. I do want a different FPS than Battlefield. Uh, I don't want to spend all my time playing Battlefield 3. I can just see it becoming annoying after a while. If I'm constantly playing one FPS, I usually get so frustrated with it, it makes me want to not play it anymore. 
uh, that kind of happened with Bad Company 2 when that came out. So, kind of undecided, but I want to get Modern Warfare 3 just to see if it's any good. I'm not saying it's going to be the best or saying it's going to be crap, you know, so don't get commented on the video saying Battlefield 3 is so much better. But, um, I want to see if it's any good. You know, it has potential to be a fun game, a game which I can play when I'm tired of Battlefield 3 and I just want a run and gun arcade shooter, but it also has potential to be bullcrap, basically. It has that potential that Modern Warfare 2 had. Um, I'm not too excited about the release of Modern Warfare 3. I'm excited about the release of Skyrim Saints Row the Third. Uh, that's about it this year, actually. I don't know whether to get Mass Effect 3. Not a big Mass Effect fan myself. Oh, and just before the end of the video, if you would like to add, add me on Battlelog, you can see my name in the video. It's Matt-Rock-93. Um, I couldn't just have a simple name because the origin ID changer was telling me all the names I chose were taken. So that was bad times. There's a nice cheeky knife. Um, so yeah, if you want to play with me, add me on Battlelog. You can join my platoon. I accept anyone really. It's not really a platoon of any, so it's just a funny, a fun platoon that me and my friend made in honour of our favourite TV show, <laughs> I guess. Um, so this is dwindling down to the end of the video. I hope this gets uploaded on Pixel Enemy Revive. Um, I haven't previously uploaded anything on that channel, so I really would like to get started within that community. It's a lot better community than most other community channels, I can tell you that and uh, it's got a great person reviewing the videos so I hope my video gets in uh, I hope it's good quality and the commentary is quite good so I'm about to win the game, I think I get one more kill before the game ends and I think I do respectively well, I'll leave the ending stat screen on to just show you my ending results and the ribbons etc etc for those of you who are interested but anyway guys, thanks for watching my informational video on Back to Carcand and a little random ramble on about nothingness and Battlefield 3 um, I hope to see you around and on the battlefield. See you later, guys.